addresses what the board has been doing in the past few years financially. And we even took the liberty of going back to the year 2000. So if you can see here, um, and, and I'm kind of, um, this is kind of apropos because I know another public comment spoke of a financial, a years of in financial insolvency within the township. And it, again, it's apropos for this evening because we're going to, we're going to use DCED's reporting to graph out and show to the public how the money was spent. We went back to the year 2000. So here is the Union Township General Fund. And we have a legend at the bottom where you'll see a golden bar that shows our township fund balance. You'll see a navy bar that shows income, and then you'll see a white bar that shows expenditures. So if you look at the gold bar, we have a, um, again, we go back to 2000, and let's see here. You'll see that the board has been working hard toward responsibly increasing revenue while monitoring expenses. This effort has overall been a success the expense in 2018 were due to the timing of a police contract payments and major road projects. And I, let's see here, I can possibly detail that down a little bit more. In 2018, we paid off a $24,000 dump truck that the board didn't even realize there was a note on because we inherited that. There was $800,000 in road projects that year and we had the beginning of Mingo Circle Sewers, that was 15,000. And we also had that year a request from Lawn City Police Department for a uh, payment, you know, that what that came before the next calendar year. So that threw the num the budgeted number off a slight bit. But as you can see, the numbers from the financial insolvency somewhere. You see, it's almost at zero. It plummeted down from 2000 to 2001. And then again, it kind of bumped back, but 2003 was a really, really sad day for our township, sad year. And slowly but surely, as someone said in public comment, it got started to get built back up. Now, something odd happened in 2010 where it recessed. I'm going to guess that that possibly could have been the completion of the El Rame of sewers. And I, I'm not sure though. But then again, it starts slowly increasing. And as you see, it makes a complete trajectory upwards up until today's day. Now we don't have 2020 audits completed yet, so we couldn't add that here. But I, I truly want the public to really take a look at that, and again, we're going to post this on our website and our Facebook page, because it really shows a lot. And as far as spending money, in my opinion, I, you know, I look at the last five years in Union Township, and the amount of work that's being done here while maintaining a, a balance like we are is an incredible feat. So I just, that's the proof that comes, the numbers don't lie. So I think that's important for everybody to, to really look at, and so then we could, um, let's see here. I, I also want to say the township um, financial year ending in 2020 is expected to show significant income due, due to the timing of revenue with expenses incurred in 2021. And again, that will be eight, uh, available as soon as the audit is done. We should be here within the next month. So then we could move over, Carrie, if you want to either the liquor sewers or the Alwayne of Sewers. Okay, so here again is a graph that goes back to 2000, and, 2000, and this is in, um, our Union Township liquid fuels account, which is maintained, it's audited separately every year by the state. Those audits are available to any public member. And the income <coughs> tends to remain fairly steady as the amount allocated from PennDOT does not vary greatly. However, in 2010, the large spike in income is due to $377,109 reported as transferred out of the 
general fund into the special revenue fund. The cause for this is unclear at this time. So in recent years, we have attempted to balance spending with income, which is why you'll see on this bar graph less fluctuation in the past several years. But again, just to reiterate, um, this, this fuel, this liquid fuel account, you know, the blue line should always stay relatively the same. And again, you'll see a big spike in 2010. The board has tried to figure out what happened there. There's no records. So that was in 2010. And again, other than seeing a bank transfer of $377,000 and some change, there's no, no certainty as to that fluctuation. But in general, the balance is pretty much flat line. And again, the yellow lines will show um, the fund balance and the, the white lines is of course the expenditures. And again, I, you know, we, I tried to find an answer before tonight. I may get it for the next meeting, but you, you'll see in 2013, nothing was done in 2013 on road projects. I'm not sure, we're not sure why we're getting an answer so it was short. only about $23,000 was spent, which was which is a lot less than than an day. average year of road projects. But then you'll see a major spike in 2014, and that amount was somewhere around $670,000. We're not sure exactly what roads, but we're going to give that answer and get back to the public on that. Um, and that may take some time, because again, that's old foul somewhere located. We'll have to get Okay, and then the last chart we have is the old Raymond sewer fund. This is a relatively um, non-changeable, easy chart to follow. We have our fund balance, we have an expenditure line, and we have an income line. So obviously in 09 or 10 is where the construction was completed for the El Rama sewer fund with a, you know, a, a long-term loan approximately close to $2 million. So that is the reason for that spike. And then now the stores are being maintained. The, the revenue comes in and it goes out. So it's, it's pretty much a level playing uh, field. However, this year we put significant funds into updating, maintaining, and finding out where the sewer infiltration and the water infiltration in those sewers and did smoke testing. So you'll see some fluctuations in that line in the next budget after the audit's done and in the next meeting, but in the audit, the audit session. So that's it. I just wanted the supervisors to see that and the public so they know where their money has been and where it's been spent. If I may, yes. um, is there, I just wanted to 